can't find this goddamn fuel can. Honestly, I've been looking for absolutely ages around these huts. Um, but I'm gonna leave it. I've gone, I'm going crazy here looking at these. So welcome back everybody, sorry for the unusual intro there, I just got rather frustrated. Last episode we built that monstrosity of a wall, well it's not that big, but it fills in this entire area. We can hopefully um, one day, perhaps if we turn more enemies mod on again, get some more cannibals up here and then we can fight them to the death. Curious to see if that would be the uh, the end of the series, you know, a little death match getting defeated by the, uh, the natives. But today we're going to head back to the sinkhole. And we're going to test out a very peculiar trap design. Oh, hello. Cannibals already. Spinning around in circles. And a cowman. Wow. Not even a minute into the episode. Let's just uh, act like we never saw him, shall we? More of them? Bloody hell. We're getting so many cannibals already this episode. Last episode, we got none. We've already got two packs of them. And some babies, by the sounds of it. What are you looking at? Whoa. We fought back so quick. So today's project is building a trap. Well, it's actually four traps, but the concept is called a safe zone. And this was submitted by West on my Discord server. It's a really, really, really cool idea, actually. You can just um, build these anywhere quite quickly, and you've got literally a safe zone. So I'm trying to think of the best place to build it. I might build it right here, actually. Then again, I think a pretty cool place to build it would be over at my old base location. The one that we tore down two episodes ago. Ah oh, yes, here it is. Oh, the bodies, I forgot about those. I'll be taking those. Jesus! That was... <laughs> the bloody deer ran straight at me. Alright, so, what we're going to do is, first of all, tear these down. Get rid of all of them. Cool. So now what we need to do is find a good spot in the center. Oops. A good spot in the center. So I'm going to choose right here. That rock's kind of in the way. But we do need flat ground. I think I'm going to go with this in the center, actually. So the concept is we go ahead and get the happy birthday trap. And then we can rotate it to face outwards. Actually, this is going to be very difficult to do. <laughs> Let me just get the layout and show you really quick. So we place one here. We can go ahead and place another one right here, like that. Another one there. And then the final one. Boom! And then we create this grid. Just crouch, crouch, crouch. You didn't see me. You didn't see me. Where's a bush? Where's a bush? Quick! Give me a bush! Wait, oh no, she's coming. Get in the bush! Pretty sure that worked. No way. Yep, that worked. So stealth. Is seriously an option now. It's a little bit, a little bit OP in my eyes. Like once they've seen you, they should have seen you. They should patrol the area and look out for you. Make sure that you're not still lingering around. But it's definitely a lot, lot better. Wow, he was looking right at me. Uh oh, dude, how many cannibals are gonna be coming after us this episode? Oh, that's an odd place to pray. Oh, shh, bloody hell! I think it's just that one that saw me, isn't it? Also, because I had to reload the world, I did lose those bodies over there that we collected from the previous traps. Which is unfortunate. Alright, we've got to get, what, 16 logs now? Alright, is it just me? Just listen to this. Does that sound like a really heavy echo or a little bit of reverb going on here? Like, ignore the actual echo in the sinkhole, but just listen. It sounds like I'm placing two at once, really quickly. I'm not sure if that's because of a mod, but that could be a bug. It is very distracting. Okay, so I also think I'm going to start a rabbit farm up here soon. And it's a little bit dark, but I think it's going to be a while until day. So I'm going to start planning this now. I'm going to build a rabbit farm up here. So... What's the best way to do this? Do I want to... I should put them like this in the corner, shouldn't I? Okay, so right here, we have got 32. 32 individual rabbit cages. Now, I'm thinking I could fit a few in the center here, make it sort of like a walk around. Um, just to get it probably to 35, maybe 40. That'd be kind of cool. I don't think I'm going to do it on the other side as well. I think that's just a little bit overkill. 
But I'm definitely going to go with this. Might even fit one here. There we go. Looking a bit better. So, I'm going to do that at some point. Probably not this episode, because we're focusing on building the, uh, the new trap. But I think having a rabbit farm over here is a really good idea. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this looks like a complete mess in the sensor, but we've got two here, two, oh sorry, three here, and then we've got three on this side. So we've got three, three, two. Just to make a little bit of a triangle, hopefully we should be able to fit down there easy. Easy. Um, but yeah, this is great. So apparently these log sleds don't fit in anymore. Oh, okay, now it does. God, that was so fiddly. I might have to extend these out just a little tad. Oh, hello. Alright, let's get this built quick. Let's get this built! Quick! One. How many sticks do I have? Good. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. That scared me. Just a little bit. Uh. So essentially what happens with this trap is you... Stay inside and you're safe, pretty much. <laughs> you can go ahead and take the bodies down, pile them in the center. Rebuild the traps, and then you're ready to go again, pretty much. And then you just play the waiting game. Come on, you. I see you. It's a really cool idea. That worked so well just then. It is literally a safe zone. They cannot get to you. I'm going to build a few storages for sticks in here. But other than that, that's all we need to do. Come on. Two in one. Bingo. Wait, I'm confused. Why are they still... Why are they still hanging? Come on. No. Dum dum. That's one thing that's quite unfortunate though. You do have to spend a stick in order to get in or out of this. Come on. <laughs> oh, I love it. We've already got what, five bodies. Six bodies. This is great. Imagine if we made this a little bit bigger. Perhaps like a more like a circle. You'd have more space on the inside. I think that's definitely worth looking into. Let's see if we can get out of this without triggering the trap. No. You see, you've got you've to gotta repair it when you leave as well. Or you could just leave it. That's always an option. But honestly, thank you so much, West, for suggesting this, because this is so much fun. I'm probably going to expand it and make it bigger. Like I said, look like a hexagon or something. Oh, I might be able to jump over using this rock. Bingo. Ah, got it right in the center. Look at that. So we can escape just with that. Well, escape. We can get out. I think that's a really good placement, though, actually. Let's go ahead and build it. Look, you can see here we can jump up. A little bit fiddly, but it does get us out in one piece. Aha, more victims. Come here, you. Where are you going? Oh, oh, oh. 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 Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ugh! Get in! Get in! <gasps> no! Ugh! Damn it! This is so good! Oh my god, this is almost as good. Actually, I think this is better than the uh, the spiral trap. I take it. I take it back. I titled that video the best trap. I'm willing to bet this is the best trap. Because from all angles, if they run at you, they can't get you. Although, unfortunately, the best way to get rid of them still is... In fact, let me go ahead and build a few bone baskets. Build one in each corner. Right there. Oh, hello. God, they just... They can't stay away, can they? Jump! Oh, damn it. Quick! Whoa! Get out. Get out. Get out! Look, this is my... My territory. Good. Bye. There we go. God. So nice and quiet once the uh, the flies have gone. Where'd the cannibals go? This is so many bones. Honestly, it's going to cost so much lag. <laughs> Not too bad. All that, all those bones. Probably, I think it's about half actually. That half full. From, I'd say, repairing these alone cost us, I'd say, just under 20 sticks. That's incredible. Honestly, this is so good. We need a place to put these skulls, though. It definitely needs to be bigger, for sure. So you can fit, perhaps, two of these inside so you can stay there for a while. And then you can have a, a few catapults to store the skulls. And then a few more bone baskets as well. 
Honestly, this is so much fun. You need to try this for yourself. Go ahead and build it next time you're playing. Hello, you two. Ready to party? Come on. Come on. Honestly, this is so much fun. I want to get like a massive tribe. And I mean massive. I wonder if there's a way we can easily attract a lot of cannibals. I think we'd have to install the more enemies mod. Where's he going? I think we'd have to install the more enemies plus mod, and we'd also have to install the center of attention mod. I'm not sure if that still works, actually. Hello. Whoa, I just got launched. Did not know you could do that. <laughs> I can place them on top of the basket, that's great. Stay right there. Oh, yes, got him. Got him! So, this is such a cool concept. I, I'm gonna, at some point, build a bigger one. Um, and we also need to figure out a way to easily get in and out without having to repair the trap or rebuild. I keep saying repair. So, if you've got any ideas, that was very, um, odd. I, I didn't even know that they were there. I just had a bit of a, a feeling somewhere behind me. So, if you've got any ideas as to how we can get in and back out of this without having to repair the trap, let me know in the comments below. I really would, um, I really would like to know your ideas there. Wow, got ourselves a little feather farm going on here. So you got something to do while you're waiting for more cannibals to come as well. <laughs> I love it. Don't even think about it. Nope. Oh, wow. I didn't think I'd get you then. Come on, fellas. One at a time. But go for it. Both at the same time. Both gonna die anyway. They've caught on. They're smart. They're like, nah, nah. Let's just leave. This Brabant guy's too, too hardcore. No chance of taking on this guy. Look at those icons. Bloody hell, you see that's going to get annoying, I think. So one thing that's new with the better blueprints mod is that Blight made it so you can place the um, platform however high you want to. <laughs> there is a limit. But that's right up there, that's the, uh, that's the limit. So I'm thinking, I could build this at the bottom of the sinkhole as a support beam to the center. You know, it wouldn't be that difficult. But it would look really good. It would just make so much sense. And then we could build at the bottom, protecting it. So, I feel like that is definitely something that I want to do in the future. Now, as for getting the logs down there, it would take, I'd say, I'd say it'd take 250-ish logs, if that's 100. So what I'm thinking is building, like, a raft up here, putting some logs, some log holders onto it, putting the logs in, and then pushing it off into the sinkhole. And then I can go ahead and jump onto it when it's floating in the sky. And they will just drop, I can then pick them up and drop them off into the uh, the bottom. That's really the only way I can think of getting this uh, working. But there we go guys, unfortunately I do have to round this episode up here. I know this was a bit of a short one, it was a nice little experiment this. Rather than doing some practical building for the series. It's nice just to have one of episodes where you just build and mess around, you know. So if you guys did enjoy building this trap and seeing it working, Make sure to leave a like on the video. Also, thank you to West for suggesting this in my Discord server. If you want to go ahead and join my server, you can do so by clicking the link in the description. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll catch you in the next video.